chili. We're about to have chili here in a little bit. David's been watching it. No, I haven't. You've been stirring. Yeah, I've been stirring. Yes, so we'll have some been chili. Eating some of it. Mm -hmm. We're about to make cornbread too to go with it. Yeah, what have you been doing? Homework. Seriously, like two, maybe three hours now. Like I think I started a little bit about 9.30ish and I just stopped maybe 15 minutes ago, which is 12.30 now, so. Yeah, it's already 12.30. Let's see what time it is. Time is flying today. I don't know if I said it before, I may have said it last year, but I got it actually from Nitra B. Um, but I tweaked it a little bit, but for the most part, it's her same recipe and it's really good and it's very easy to just throw it in the crock pot. So we enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I like the addition of the canned tomatoes. Of yeah, we, I don't know if she did. I don't remember her saying she used canned tomatoes, but. Yeah. You can tell it's, you know, the canned tomatoes are sweeter. We learned that from Food Network, huh? Yeah, so. we did. <laughs> but it's just ground beef. I guess you could use turkey if you wanted to, but it's just ground beef, um, a can of Rotel, uh, excuse me, a can of Rotel. Mm. With, uh, anyway, a can of Rotel, a can of tomato paste, tomato sauce, and then we added the canned tomatoes and then salt and pepper and a packet of taco seasoning. Salt and pepper here. Yeah, and I cut up an onion, just a small onion, not a whole lot, and that was it. So it's a pretty easy re recipe. And we've had it in the crock pot on low for like four hours, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, and black beans also, a can of black beans. And make sure you rinse your black beans, but yeah, really good. Good morning, the low reads. Tuesday morning. I just finished my workout here at the house. It's upper body today. So I decided to stay home and do it to save gas and time. So, yeah. Because I'm closer to my job than I am to my gym. So <laughs> I decided to stay home and do my workout. So, anyway, I got bananas, peaches peaches and strawberries and spinach in here and I'm gonna put a splash of milk and maybe a couple ice cubes but I'm looking forward to it because it's been a long time since I made a smoothie <laughs> <laughs> They're staring at me. Oh. <laughs> Stop staring. <laughs> Coffee brewing. I don't know why this light is on back here. Coffee's brewing. Flowers are still looking good. Well, except for two. The, well, three, I guess. This one is gone downhill, and this one, and then the other one over here. The roses are pretty much done, but everything else is hanging on. This is so cute. These are hanging on tight. So, yeah. And then there's Baby. The, um, yeah, which I've had forever. So, well, look at that, David. He doesn't have any clothes on. Yeah. 
pickup truck. And one of the cashiers is like, so what, how's your day going? How, you know, to this morning, I was like, oh, it's my wedding anniversary. He was like, what? What are you doing today? I was like, we're going to Village Inn. And he was like, Village Inn? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we're simple people, <laughs> but we know what we like. They have an amazing bar over there. I don't know if somebody told me. child performance but we had a good time Ma had a real good time but Lakeside was really good they did a great job performing I'm tired and hungry <laughs> ready to go to sleep hey guys good morning it's Sunday morning I feel like this is gonna be the longest vlog ever <laughs> or just the most random thing because I've just been picking up the camera here and there throughout the week so this will be fun when I'm editing I just wanted to say, Ma and I had a really nice time last night. Um, we did not stay to the end of the festival. We didn't stay through all of Music Soul Child's performance just because we were tired and ready to go. So, or at least I was, I was tired ready to go. Ma was turning up, I was tired and ready to go. So, um, so anyway, I just wanted to say, I've been slowly kind of sort of updating the home, transitioning it to fall. I did make a wreath like a month ago, but I can't show you guys because it has our address on the wreath. But it's really, really cute and I did it for less than 10 bucks. So it's a small, cute wreath. But um, yeah, I've just been updating the home here and there, transitioning. I'm glad that I saved most of my things from last fall because I pretty much just used those to decorate with a couple of additions, very inexpensive additions. One thing I made from Pinterest though, let me show y'all real quick, are these jack-o'-lanterns. Now, the Pinterest image has lights in them. Oops, has lights in them. I'm losing my flowers. I cut the stems a little shorter because I didn't like how they look. See, this is the one with the stem short cut and this is the one without. Um, I'm supposed to put some lights in it and it'll make it really, really cute. So, and these are flowers I had from last year. Also, also, um, these are pumpkins I had from last year. These are the lights I bought from Ross. It came with a pack of three, but only two worked. And they have a four hour timer or a timer where you can leave it on all day. And these are flowers I had from last year. So yeah, we're slowly putting it together around here. Just a few little additions. My battery's about to die. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, enjoy where you're at and where you be. Make sure you subscribe and thumbs up the video. Bye guys.